Hello everyone and uh, welcome. Uh, so in this video I'm going to show you uh, what are frames and how to use them. Uh, well, first of all, uh, let me say that frames are very useful when, for example, working with multiple forms that have some uh, similar characteristics, meaning, uh, for example, some same functionalities or same components, uh, for example, like a very similar uh, header footer or something like that. Uh, well, let me demonstrate. For example, uh, let's let's just say that I want that each of my forms, uh, no matter how many are they, uh, have a button here down below. Okay, so this button will be something like uh, author, and it will display, for example, show message. Uh, it's me. Okay. So. Uh, that's pretty much what I want each form to have. So if I have, for example, uh, let's create two more forms. Okay. What would I need to do is to copy this. Okay. And copy it here. And then uh, again, manually copying the code. Okay. So I'm copying here and then I'm copying here. Okay. As you can see, uh, all I did was pretty much doing a copy paste but uh, in this th in this case it's not so hard but again uh, not so rarely you have uh, more complex applications that have for example 20 30 50 or 100 forms or more and something like this is really not an option so what is the better approach to do it well, uh, the better approach is to, uh, by using frames. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete uh, all this that I did uh, manually. So I'm going to delete this code and the components. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a frame. Uh, how to create a frame, file new, other, C++ builder files and VCL frame. So as you can see, a frame is nothing but a container of components. And I'm going to create a small container that pretty much only has a place for a button here. Okay. And that button will say author. And it will display Okay, so I have a frame now. Uh, this is pretty much something like a template of a user uh, user interface. Okay, so let me just say uh, I want to uh, uh, my forms unit one, unit two, unit three, meaning form one, form two, and form three, to have this button and this functionality under this button. So what I'm going to do is click here frames and drop it here. Okay. And as you can see, I'm having a frame. So I'll put it here. And then again, I'll put that same frame on the other uh, form. And then on the third form. Okay, so I have uh, that frame on all three forms. So uh, what is the advantage of this? Well, the advantage of this is that all three forms have uh, are using the same functionality, the functionality that is defined on the frame. So when clicking this button, no matter what form uh, are you using, it will uh, show message, it's me, okay let's try it so i run the application author it's me okay uh, where this is useful is when you need to change something for example i i don't want this uh for example to uh, say it's me uh, it's me and the team for example okay and then when i run the application okay uh it's run uh, it will show this uh, text under each and every form okay uh, also let's just say that i want to expand this 
uh, for example I don't want just to have the author I want to have a link for example then I can uh, expand this a bit uh, let's just say that this is uh, some text a link to our uh, web page uh, I just say some font here okay and uh, as you can see this link now is visible on all other forms also I can later on decide I don't want uh, to have this button here or this uh, link here I can only uh, I only only I need to do is to change uh, the frame okay and automatically uh, the component order is changed on all uh, the forms using that frame uh, so that uh, that is the reason why this is so useful it's very easy to change the functionality or add or change existing components uh, on the frame but also the advantage is that for example uh, you don't need to uh, use the same functionality that is described here or you don't need to uh, say I want this link to be uh, right here on every form so for example uh, I want to say that only on this form one I want to have this link for example uh, right and this button here okay and again when I run the application uh, only for, uh, for form one I will have a button on the left and a link on the right but, but all other forms are uh, having uh, a default uh, frame container okay so also I, uh, I can also say I don't want uh, you to show me the text that is uh, displayed by uh, by what's defined in the frame I want uh, something else when clicking this button in form 1 so when I run this okay it's form one so as you can see I didn't use the functionality defined in the frame for the form one but all other forms are using that functionality okay guys and that's uh, how to use frames and why uh, they are so useful like I said it's very easy uh, to use them and it's uh, very very uh, helpful uh, to have them when having a multiple forms having uh, some uh, same functionalities or some same components uh, thank you guys for watching and like always see you next time